the military changed my life. I was going down this path that I didn't like. And when I was 18, about six months after high school, I was working my sixth job of the year. A recruiter came up and did the, do you know so-and-so thing? And of course I didn't. And then he went into, well, have you ever thought about the military? And when I thought of the army, I thought of the movie Full Metal Jacket. I didn't know it was the Marine Corps at the time, but I was like, no, goodness, I'm not doing that. But then I got really intrigued by the idea of doing something that I couldn't quit. I served in the army. I was a human resources individual, and then I commissioned as a signal officer. After I commissioned, I went to Korea with my three and four-year-old daughters. I was a platoon leader for about 50 soldiers, and I just, I loved that. Just being able to have that impact and, and see what you were doing there was just amazing. For a lot of people in the military, especially women, we do face adversity. I was a captain in a CAV unit, and I worked for an infantry major. He made my life pretty miserable. It was one of those situations where I couldn't do anything right, and he would swear at me and yell at me and put me down and all of those things, and it was making me physically ill. And I didn't want to be that woman. You know, I didn't want to rock the boat. I didn't want to be any of that. I finally got to a place where I got my courage, used my voice, and said, this isn't, this isn't working for me. And he gave me the, oh, Lorraine, I'm so sorry. I'm just not good at working with females. And I took that and I was like, okay, you know, we're gonna do better. We had that talk and then it just continued after that. And I, I think for me too, I have daughters. And I was in a <clears throat> I want them to know, like, I'm my job is to set an example for them. And granted, they can't see me. They didn't know what was going on, but I'm like, you know, how am I teaching you not to let people do this to you? And here I am just taking this. And so I learned a valuable lesson in that. I learned, you know, I will never tolerate somebody treating me like that again. So it was a, in a way, in a weird way, it was a gift. <laughs> I am 100% total and permanent uh, service connected with the, the VA. So I use the healthcare at the Ann Arbor VA. I love it. Um, I also love that in a very few short years, my children will get to go to college for free because of my service and because of the VA benefits. So that's pretty awesome. For those individuals that aren't using their benefits currently, I would tell them, use them. If you raise your hand and you serve in any capacity, I believe that you deserve benefits and you've earned them and you should use them. So don't ever think, I didn't do enough. I didn't do this, I didn't do that. You freaking raised your hand and you served. So use your benefits. I am Lorena Black. I am a mom, a mentor, a biracial woman. I served, I am a veteran, and I earned these benefits.